What's up guys? All right, so what is your number one goal? Like, what are you shooting for right now? What are you going for? Uh, are you trying to run a marathon? Are you trying to get your black belt in jujitsu? Are you trying to grow your business? Are you trying to start a business? Are you just trying to move up professionally? Are you trying to get your college education? Everybody's got goals, right? And there's nothing wrong with goals. And sometimes our goals are different, right? Maybe your goal is just to be the best parent you can be. And you might find that that involves getting a better job or, or whatever, or it may mean taking time off from a job. Maybe it means being a stay-at-home mom. Maybe it means, I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody's got different goals, and you can have multiple goals at one time, right? And maybe your goal is, is right now you're just freaking overwhelmed, and you feel like you're drowning. You know, maybe now's not the time in your life where you can be thinking really, long term because you're just trying to survive today. And so I want to talk to you today about something besides goals. I want to talk about your values. You know, what do you value in life? Because it's easy to set goals and try to attain them. And maybe it's easy, maybe it's not. But if we're aiming for goals that doesn't really align with who we are internally, we're gonna be miserable. We're not gonna be happy. And and like, so if you're, and I'll just give you an example. Like if your value is time, your personal freedom, you want time off, then maybe taking that promotion that makes you work nonstop, even though it seems like, you know, a nice goal to hit, maybe it doesn't line up with your values, you know? Maybe it won't actually make you happier. Maybe, maybe it'll make you more miserable. Um, and that's just a weird example. But, but, but I think all too often we, we think too much in like tangible goals and not enough in our ideals, our values, you know, uh, um, the, the, our systems that we follow. And sometimes that means dreaming big and having weird visions for your life. You, you know, I'm kind of known for that. But, and I know that not everybody needs to be like me. Um, but really, when I'm, when I'm trying to have a vision for something, something I just want, you know, I get passionate about, it's, be, it's because of these values. It's because of the things that I find important that I want to work on and I want to grow and I want to see become bigger and become more a part of my life. Because I feel like it's just kind of the way God made me. And so your value system could be a little bit different than mine. And that's okay. It's not, it's, I'm not talking about the values like being a good person or, or whatever, you know, doing the right thing. I mean, we should also be doing that, okay? But I'm talking about other types of values. Like maybe it's, um, Maybe it's freedom. Maybe it's, it's time. Maybe it's uh, uh, re a closer relationship. Maybe it is some financial freedom. You know, maybe that is a value of yours and you, and you need that. And maybe that's high on your list and that's okay. But like there's this, there's this scripture in the Bible and I'm going to probably screw this up. But where Jesus says, he's like where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. And, and I was talking about money. And he was trying to get people to, to put their treasure in heavenly things. In other words, see the big picture, right? Don't try to store up. And like, so, so the way you can look at this is like, what have you accumulated in your life? Okay? Is it deadbeat relationships? Is it a job that's going nowhere? Is it, is it, is it things that have, is it possessions? Is it money? Do you have a large bank account, but you're empty inside? Like these are the things we accumulate and it shows where we've actually spent our time, where our heart is. And I think that's what Jesus was saying. It's like, look, look to the things that matter, the things that are important, the things that, you know, the, the rust is not going to settle upon, that, that the worms aren't going to eat through. What's going to last? That's your values. 
So I've ranted long enough, guys. Hope you all have a great day.